What's up everybody? I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. Everybody needs a place to live, right? Right. Whether you want to live in a 15 bedroom mansion or a tiny studio apartment, it costs money to have a roof over your head. Right? Yeah, right. And if you're gonna have to pay money to live somewhere, you might as well own your home because your home is an investment. Right? Yeah, r wait. No, not exactly. The home that you live in is not, with a capital N, not an investment, and I'm gonna explain why in this video. So sit back, relax, hit that thumbs up button, and make sure you watch this video until the end because I'm gonna be debunking a lot of myths. First, just so we're on the same page, let's talk about why people think that your home is an investment. There's a few reasons for this. When you own a home, your mortgage payments are building equity in your home, which is an asset, while your rent payments are just going in the garbage. Your home is an investment because real estate always goes up in value. Like if you buy a home for half a million dollars today, psh, you'll be able to sell it for a million dollars in 10 years. Your home is an investment because if you ever wanted to buy a boat, you could just go to the bank and use your home as leverage to get a line of credit and you can use this credit to go and buy a boat that you can't afford. We've all heard these things before, right? But there's one more reason why many people think that their home is an investment. We're told by banks that your home is the single most important investment of your life. Look, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due and that's a great marketing pitch. I mean, it's like how cereal companies keep marketing that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. If banks can convince you that your home is an investment, it'll be a lot easier to get you to buy a bigger home that you may or may not be able to afford. Second, what's your definition of an investment? If your idea of an investment is you spend a lot of money today on your down payment, and then every single month with no months off, you pay your mortgage payments. And then anytime your window breaks, you have to pay to fix that. And then anytime you want to remodel your kitchen, you have to pay for that. And you have to pay for your property taxes every year. And you have to pay for your utility bills every month. And you do this every year for 20 years just for the hope to make a profit two decades later. <sighs> if that's your idea of an investment, then I recommend you watch some of our videos and you know what, I'll even link some in the description below. My definition of investing is very simple. Investing is when you buy something for the sole purpose of making money or growing something. And if you do this correctly, you won't have to wait 20 years to see a return or even two years to see a return. When you invest for passive income, you can start getting cash flow in just a few months. And for those of you saying, oh, you need a ton of money to start generating passive income, I linked a video down below to show you how it works. You buy the home that you live in to use, not to make money on. Third, if you still don't believe me, do the mailbox test. Now, I already know that some of you are divided. You're sitting there watching this video and you're thinking to yourself, but just breathe. Everybody buys their home as an investment. How can you, in your right mind, tell me that building equity in a half a million dollar home is not an investment? Tell me now, or I'm gonna hit that dislike button so hard that your turban is gonna change colors. Whoa, 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 hold on to your trigger finger because I'm gonna give you an exercise that will show you exactly what I mean. Here's what I want you to do. Put on your slippers, go outside, go to your mailbox, and uh, tell me what you find. Uh, I got some bills and uh, an advertisement. I don't get it. Ah, uh, so you're telling me that your house isn't sending you any checks? Uh, no. Why would my house pay me? Exactly, because your home is not an investment. When you buy real estate as an investment, you still have the expenses and you still get the advertisements, but you also get rent checks which cover the expenses and should put some money in your pocket every single month. That's why it's an investment. Your home comes with the expenses and the responsibilities of being a homeowner, but with none of the income. If your home isn't paying you, it's not an investment. Fourth, so uh, are you saying that I should only rent a home? No. I'm saying understand what your home really is. Not everything you buy will be an investment. Like I buy clothes and I have this fancy phone case and I have a car. There's nothing wrong with buying nice things or buying expensive things or buying luxury things as long as you can afford 
afford it. What I want you to do is understand what is an investment and what is not an investment so you can make your purchasing decisions like a financially smart person. When you think that your home is an investment, it is much easier to convince you to buy a home that you cannot afford which puts you paycheck to paycheck because you think that this big beautiful home is gonna make you rich. <coughs> 2008 crash. I would rather you live smaller for a few years. This way you can take this extra money and invest it in things that actually make you money and then a few years later you can go out and buy that dream home and actually afford it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss our new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every Wednesday and Friday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. That way you actually find out when our new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.